as long as you're someone that is, has a, a, a ham license, technician or above, mm -hmm. you have a ham license and a computer, and you've registered with the system and, and been approved, authorized, you can use, if you have a laptop or a regular desktop computer, as long as there's a microphone, yeah. Yeah. you can connect to the yeah. IRLP, from I mean to the Echo Link. Echo. From, like you say, wireless and everything, it's, it's, it's amazing and uh, what, what, what they've been doing with it, you know. But anyways, they, uh, we got the IRLP up with, uh, with BEMA. That's good, and uh, all that group. You were talking, we we'll go back to BEMA for a second. I think every one of their meetings is attended by at least 15 people, and they're not all from Braintree. A lot of people say, well, why isn't Braintree involved? I mean, a lot, a lot of people like myself, we're not going to come out unless there's an actual emergency. Mm -hmm. We'll be there, you know, whatever they want us to do. But uh, an awful lot of people are uh, Weymouth, Quincy, and I don't know if, if Quincy still... Uh, still is involved with emergency management down there since uh, they've had a, a couple of problems. And with well, that. each town, it's amazing how different it can be from one town to the next mm -hmm. as far as what, that's why, I mean, you can't, I can't say enough good things about the Braintree Emergency oh, Management yeah, yeah, because yeah. They, what they have really works. Yep. And, uh, but, you know, some of the, maybe some of the surrounding towns didn't have the jump start or don't have someone that's, that, that can get things but going that way. I, I see, uh, like Brantley was over in Canton here, uh, supplementing their, uh, their emergency management. And I, I think they, they were doing, of course, Weymouth. They're always down at Weymouth mm -hmm. uh, if any, anything happens. But I, I think they're, uh, they're doing something with Holbrook now, too. I'll, I'll have to double check on that. I'm pretty sure that they're... Uh, they're using the resources. And well, these are all the good questions to ask if we could get to yeah, do a yeah, show, yeah. have Bob James come yeah. and, and uh, talk a little bit about it and just the whole general concept of how towns could go about establishing if they don't have an active program, you mm -hmm. know, what needs to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you have anything else for us t this week? It's been uh, dreary, rainy, miserable, uh, two, day, two days of sunshine on the month of June. Um, I, well, the only bright spot has been that there's been some propagation taking place now on the 10 meter and 6 meter bands. And this time of year, we're filming this right now, it's uh, June 23rd today, mm -hmm. and this is the time of year when you would start to see some propagation on 6 meters and 10 meters. Whether it's at the peak of the sunspot cycle or not, it's all, it always happens right around the summer Have solstice. Have you been working 6? Yes, yes. Yeah. And there's been some European stations coming through. I mean, we're here on the East Coast and we're if it, the band does open up, sometimes we're able to do that. I, uh, I, I haven't. I made one or two contacts on six. I really don't. You know, I should throw it up another element for six on the on the. Well, it's up, just it's a band that you need to just be on. Yeah, and, and monitor and and, and, uh, and all of a sudden I, I'm it happens. I'm monitoring the, the cluster, and like just like when I say to you, uh, I see Europe coming in, and I see it going over us, and then I'll, I'll see the Pacific coming into. Uh, uh, the Midwest or maybe California and stuff like that. But 10, 10 has been, ten fact, meters has been great. 10 has been so wild. I've been getting SASEs for the state and I haven't been asking. That's funny. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, 10, 10 down South. And, uh, it's just, uh, it's incredible morning, noon and night. I mean, it's in there and, uh, you, you can go in and check for beacons of which are continuously uh, sending uh, in, in code at different locations on 10 meters. So it's, they're unmanned. So you can go in and just check prob propagation. And it's, it's 10 has been wild. A lot of times I'll monitor some of the frequencies because there is a nice published list. And you can just go right, tune your radio right along and, and set it on any one of the frequencies and just leave it there. And then... You know, maybe for two or three hours you hear nothing, and then all of a sudden you'll start to hear something come up out of the noise, and mm -hmm. you can hear it, and the, then they might, might even start to, you know, the signal might even come up to half scale on your on the S meter. I used to use the MDC police frequency for that, 39.58. There's a good, yeah, if, that, if you're hearing <laughs> yeah. other signals, you, you know yeah. the 10 yeah. meters is wide open. You, you'd be listening to the, the sure. local the MDC dispatches, and all of a sudden you hear Tennessee start coming in, yeah. and you always knew 10 yeah. was open. Uh, I, I noticed a, an awful lot of activity on 28.3, 28.5 uh, on, on the lower end of 10 meters. Uh, the 1010 International is still operating, I think, as their main frequency, 28800, which uh, same as Cape Way does mm -hmm. uh, Monday nights. But uh, they also have one down on the, uh, on the, the technician uh, portion of the band. So that's, uh, 
Just so we, the, the techs uh, oh, the, can the, get in, you know? The, now, I mean, we've talked before about the different classes of mm -hmm. license, and we won't get into that in great detail, mm -hmm. but people with a technician class license, which is you study the question pool and you have a 35 question exam that you have to pass, and you can be licensed to operate on two meters and with some of the things we were doing with the IRLP, mm -hmm. but you can also get on six and ten meters. And when yep. ten meters is open, it, it is it, it can be a any, blast. Any it place, really, any place in the world with really, a lot of power. Really, that's right. That's yeah, right. Just, it's, yep. just, it's it's an, it's incredible. That's why I never used to go on 20. I mean, I used to go on 15 for the different nets, but uh, at 10 meters and uh, like a, uh, somebody would be so impressed in your car, you'd be driving along, and uh, you'd pick up. Uh, your, your transceiver, and you'd hear an F in there from uh, France, or you'd hear somebody coming in from South Africa or, and, yeah, or, right. or Russia. Right. Uh, matter of fact, uh, uh, Russia has been running on 20 meters at night, uh, and it's really funny. And we we got to start winding down. But when was the last time you heard Box 88 Moscow? Oh no, I know. I, I got a QSL, yeah. and it's QSL via. Moscow, Box 88. Wow, what was the date on the contact? Uh, the 8th, uh, excuse me, uh, 2008. Wow, yeah. that, is, that is strange. Yeah, years ago, no matter where you talked in the Soviet Union when the Iron Curtain was in, it was just reports, you know, your 5-9 and whatever. You didn't get into any kind of real Boris, dialogue. Yeah, yep. right, that yeah was you it. just left right. it alone yeah. because they were always being monitored. But they used to like to get the QSL cards from the states and it was just normal procedure, box 88, Moscow. And every, it, you talk about a QSL bureau, yep. it probably filled a room in one, one month. Mm -hmm. But, it, yeah, but it, was, it was actually funny seeing this again, box I 88. I haven't seen that in years. Yeah, I'll, after after the show, okay. I'll show it. It was really funny. Well, that's, that's about it on my end. If you have anything else, no, uh, that's... Uh, anybody that wants to get in, in touch with us, uh, find out uh, about coming down to the Watson, or just drop in any Saturday. Uh, 85 Quincy Avenue. Uh, we're usually there after 9 o'clock Saturday morning, Saturday till noon anyways, unless something's going on this weekend. I don't know if this show will be shown uh, by then, but uh, this weekend we'll be down there for uh, all, all weekend uh, we're operating field day. If you'd like to get in touch with us, uh, K1USN Radio Club at BELDbell.net. That's a new address, K1USN Radio Club at BLD.net. If you want to know anything about upcoming or you want to register with, uh, with us for, uh, for upcoming examinations or try to uh, find out where there's some uh, lessons going on, uh, just drop me a, a line at k1wn at aol.com. k1wn at aol.com. And uh, I'll get back to you, leave a phone number or, uh, or uh, just an email address. I'll get back to you, try to set you up. So with that, that's, uh, that's about it on... This week, I guess, glad you were able to drop in. I hope you find uh, the show a little enlightening, and you can always uh, uh, drop us a note and uh, something you might like to see on uh, on ham radio uh, today. So with that, I'll say 7-3 from K1WN. And 73 from K1RV. Did you see I got the call right? You got your time? call right You make me time. nervous when yeah, you sit okay. beside me. <laughs> That's it, folks. 7-3. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.